Did you know there are three ways you can run one scheme and it appears multiple to the defense but makes things super simple for your offense? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Hey coach, Coach Mackin here and welcome to my channel. This is the first time visiting my channel. Let me tell you what it's about. Football, everything football. If you like that, stick around because today we're going to be talking about how we can make one scheme three different schemes into the defense. And what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about the inside zone. What are some twists that we can use on the inside zone to make it appear like we're running different schemes, but be easy for our offense, easy for the kids, easy for the quarterback, easy for the running back, and make things simple for them, difficult for their defense. Let's get into it. Number one. The first way is the standard inside zone scheme, how we block it up, because that is the very first. That is the base. That is the core. What we do is we just teach a gap scheme. We try to marry the gap scheme with the inside zone scheme, meaning that if we're running inside zone to the left, we're going to take three steps to the left, and then we're going to ask ourselves, is there someone head up to outside of me? Yes, we're going to block them. No, we're going to move up to the next level. That is what we've got here against this four-man front with a one-high safety. This is what we do. Now we are leaving the end unblocked, and this happens for several reasons. One, we don't have enough people to block six because we got five on the line, so we are going to be reading him. If he goes up the field, then the quarterback's going to hand the ball off and the tailback's going to go. If the end pull, I mean crashes down, the quarterback will pull and run it, and then he is playing the game off the next guy that's not blocked. Usually it's the man that's head up to slightly inside the number three receiver in a three-by-one. If he comes and takes the quarterback, then the quarterback will flip it out here. If he chases the screen, then the quarterback will run it. This is the first way you can use the inside zone, the base way. This is number one. Let's go to number two. Number two. So the second way we can use our inside zone scheme is by giving a lock call, which tells the backside tackle to lock out on the five technique or whoever is head up to outside of him. And now we are moving the read from the in to the linebacker. And this is the read right here. And then that also tells the number three guy, hey, I want you to run a snag concept right behind the first guy inside the box. And what's the quarterback reading? Well, he is reading him. If he fills, then he's going to pull and he's going to drill. If he drops back, then you hand it off. If he drills and then he comes over and fills this spot right here, now we throw this key screen because we have the numbers. So this is the second way we use the inside zone blocking scheme, but add a little tweak to get better and to make things more difficult for the defense, yet simple for us. Now let's go to number three. Hey, real quick, before we get to the end, stick around because I'm going to show some film of how we've used all three versions of this to get us explosive on the offense. Number three. The last way, the simplest way, is if you run jet sweep. Now, a lot of coaches think that when you run jet sweep, that is a whole new blocking scheme for your line, but it's not because all you're doing is you're bringing this man right here in motion across, and then you're just pitching it to him. When would you use this? When you have a defensive end that's squeezing a lot, you know he's going to be squeezing. Bring this guy into motion, toss it, because what he's going to do is he's going to automatically squeeze down because he is a that is his assignment. He's doing what he's supposed to do. And then you don't have anybody. You got two over two over here. You're getting it to the F, which is for us is our really freaking fast guy. And he is doing what he's doing. He's just running the jet sweep. You don't have to also have this man right here actually blocking in it. All you have to do is toss it and then come and fake like you're running the inside zone to hold these guys to give you more access to the outside. So let's get to the film. Dead film. So here we are. We're in a three by one. We're running our base inside zone. We have no high. We still do it because this is just who I am. What we should be doing is blocking here, here, here here, and then there. That's what we should be doing, but, you know, this is real life. Things don't work out. This is who we're reading. Now, we tell our guy, you are reading the guy on the outside, and his aiming point is the center's butt, and then I've given him the option of bouncing or bending. And as you can tell, this man sits. So this is telling him right there to actually hand the ball off. So he hands it. Now he bounces. 
He just makes – he becomes a player. Now he's going to bounce it out here where all this grass is. We are blocking him up, and good things happen right there. Look at that. We just – we're blocking five on five. We're making him get in space and then do what he has to do. So now let's go and look at the lock tag. Lock. So here we are. We're running the lock concept against this very good team. We're going to be running the normal inside zone with these guys. We're going to be locking up right here. And then we have our number three who's just going to run a three-step hitch right there to get into that grass. And we're reading him. So pre-snap, our quarterback knows that he is already tucked in the box. We should be throwing it right now. So he's looking. As you can tell, he puts the ball in there. What's this guy do? He sits there's that hole. There's no one in this grass area, so the quarterback throws it out there. Now, here's here's a key teaching point. He hits them on the right side, so he should be turning this way. Instead, he turns into that hit, so he should be turning this way. He may have squirted out of there and actually gotten some good yardage, but this is what we're doing. Again, it's so simple. Lock the backside, throw it. So, hey, there you go. If you like more of that, go ahead, click that subscribe button down below and let me know what is your favorite run scheme. And until next time, let's continue to match the spread, score points, and have fun.